What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Larian Studios' Baldur's Gate 3 released on August 3rd, 2023 to no shortage of acclaim. The Dungeons & Dragons based CRPG burst onto the scene. But above all else of note in the game, one thing really stuck in mind to me. That would be The Dark Urge, one of the game's origin characters, one with a pre-existing backstory and an in-universe goal that is tied to their main questline. They have a history filled to the brim with all sorts of nefariousness under the guise of amnesia. All of the origin characters in the game possess a figure or group that they must either immerse themselves in or fully eject from their lives. For some of them, such as Asterion and Karlak, it's following the path that their former master set for them. For others, such as Shadowheart and Lazel, it's facing off against their very own faith. For the Dark Urge, or simply Dirge for short, it's their own bloodline that they have to make this decision about, their own nature as a ball spawn a mortal child of the in-universe god of murder, Baal. But one major characteristic of this character is the way in which the decision system of the game plays into how they react and interact with those around them. Congratulations are in order. I fancied myself the sage advisor, sworn to guide you through what it means to be a child of Baal. And while I mulled on that solemn responsibility, you went and took care of it on your own. Well done. Truly. The path of a Baal spawn is not an easy one. Nor does it ever truly end. Despite what their bloodline may have you to think, the Dark Urge is not the de facto evil character, but they do have a strange singleness to them that I feel I should highlight. The Dark Urge is one of the only characters that, if not chosen as your starting player, will never be a part of your party. As well, for every other origin, when they are played in a party, they will tend to choose the morally better option without active pushes from the player should the player have required high enough approval from them. And I feel that, for the Dark Urge, this represents that they need to have the support structure that the other characters create for them in order to improve and grow past the fate that has been decided for them by their blood. We can see this by looking back to the previous installment in the Baldur's Gate series. As the main character of the first game and one of the possible protagonists of the second, Gorian's Ward, is al was also a ball spawn, pushed to fight against the same intrinsic evil that the Dirge does. But similarly, they are able to redeem themselves with the status of their birth through the assistance and support structure provided by their parent, Gorian. Which brings me back to the quote at the beginning of the video. Is it truly more virtuous to have been born good from the start and to do good without thinking? or to have everything set in your life pushed to set you on a path towards evil and continue to overcome that darkness nonetheless. I, for one, believe that the second option is the greater. I'd just like to take a moment to thank Alex KGB and CyberDog once again for providing the footage for this video. Uh, my capture card broke, so I couldn't provide it myself. But I'd just like to thank them one more time, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this.